everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back in this bitch. And Tommy, we finally finished 2002. Yep. WWE retrospective uh, year. Um, and well, we're doing 2001 now, right? Yes. And we're starting off with WWF Royal Rumble 2001. If you guys follow me or Tommy on Facebook, you've seen that we uh, we posted a picture that we were watching this, and yeah, and uh, we appreciate when you guys uh, get involved and give us some likes and some comments and yeah, all that good stuff, right, Tommy? Yeah, I really appreciate y'all giving us likes and comments on on whatever we do. No doubt. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, guys. This is the first pay per view for 2001 WWF. Royal Rumble 2001. This is the DVD review. Yes, the DVD review. Now, I own this, and so do you. Yes. And you paid way less than I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I, think, I think I paid maybe 30 How much did you pay? 12 bucks. Yeah, see? And that was back when... When, when, when FYE had good DVDs. <laughs> when FYE did have good DVDs. But here we go. January 21st, 2001. It at the New Orleans Stadium uh, Arena, not stadium yeah. arena. New yeah. Orleans New Arena. Or yeah, New Orleans Arena in New Orleans, Louisiana, sponsored by MCI, which is a telecommunication company. Huh. Boo. <laughs> and the uh, and the theme is some generic theme. Uh, agreed. It's like do 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 do. No, it's like do 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 do. I was like, what the fuck's this trash? <laughs> Do, 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 do. I was like, what the fuck's what this? The fuck, what the fuck is this shitty thing? But anyway, commentary for that night is good old JR, Jim Ross, and Jerry the King Lawler. Yes, Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler. As usual. As usual. Great duo, though. Yes. And we got the Heat Match, which, guys, is available on the disc. Yes, which is available here on the DVD. We got so, Lowdown. So, so, so you get to watch this great yeah, fucking match. Yeah, you get to up. watch this great fucking match. You got Lowdown. Which is? Chaz and fucking D'Lo Brown the fucking, in the fucking Aladdin pants. The Aladdin pants. With, of fu fucking, with fucking shitty Tiger Ali Singh. <laughs> with with D'Lo with the fucking <laughs> with the fucking Iron Sheik boots. Yeah, with the Iron Sheik fucking boots. Uh, as they take on fucking Kai and Tai. Of Takami Chinuku and Funaki. Now, I will have to say this. As dumb as that caricature of, of them coming out and and speaking and the the voice is not yeah. matching up with the uh, <laughs> with, with, with their mouth and uh, of course Funaki doing the indeed yeah it, it was over yeah it was over uh, low down wasn't over no low down was not over well, well they have Tiger Ali sing so well, well, there, you well there you go I mean, you might as well put Babu with uh, them too fuck you might as well <laughs> Uh, shitty match. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a shitty fucking heat match. Now, I also should tell you guys that the that winner... The, the winning team here gets to choose one person of the team to go in the Royal Rumble match. Yes, that, and that will be a, a political yeah. part coming, here, here, to the, yeah. co uh, coming into the show. Yes. And uh, pretty much what happens is uh, low down Chaz and D-Lo... Uh, ends up getting Funaki into a double power bomb. Yes, and uh, D'Lo pins him one, two, three, and uh, so Kai and Ty jobs to low down. So and fucking Tyler Gurali sing fucking throwing fucking roses or whatever the fuck he's throwing. I, I don't give a fuck. How you like that? <laughs> fuck Tiger, I'll yeah, say. Yeah, fuck, fuck low down too. <laughs> yeah, they sucked. Next match, and this is the first match on the actual pay per view. WWF Tag Team Championships on the line. When the champions Edge and Christian put their tag team championships on the line against the Dudley Boys. Yes, the Dudley Boys versus Edge and Christian. I enjoyed the little uh, segment that Edge and Christian did on the Dudley Boys. <laughs> on Sunday Night Heat. Yeah, when they had the midgets. <laughs> and they looked like Bubba Ray and Devon. And fucking Edge or Christian will say something and then fucking here comes the little Bubba. <laughs> so, fucking saying something. And yeah. then here comes fucking little Devon. Testify. Testify. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, he was doing what's that? Yeah, yeah, what's up? And then testify. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Uh, you know, you, you know, with the little midgets, and pretty much this came about because, well, uh, Edge and Christian has attacked the Dudley Boys. They attacked him on Raw. They, uh, they even concussed uh, uh, Devon. Yes, and Bubba uh, Ray. And Bubba Ray. Uh, and 
then they attacked him right on SmackDown as well. Yes. So, uh, you know, which pretty much led in this match, and they're going to have a tag team opportunity. Tommy, this was a great match. Yes, it was. It was a great to, uh, to opening with, match. Just to start off Royal Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. Royal Rumble, a big yeah. strong one. Yeah, to start off Royal Rumble 2001 with a bang here with a big WWE tag team title match. I thought the Deadly Boys and Edward Christian put on a really great match. They did. Uh, a really great match. Some really uh, innovative spots as well, uh, like they could do. Uh, yeah. But um, uh, Edge and Christian end, <laughs> ends up mocking the Deadly Boys with the what's up? Yep. And, uh, well, Edge was on the rope too long, and uh, <laughs> Devon, Devon uh, ends up pushing him off. And Bubba is uh, he flipped he flipped uh, Christian over yes. to uh, well he he got his nuts hit. Yep. And uh, Christian rolls out in powders yep. and then what Big happens? Three D on Edge. Three <laughs> D. Boys and one two three and the Deadly Boys are the new WWF Tag Team Champions. You want to give us a little uh, a, de a little demonstration of what, <laughs> of what Bubba did? <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> That's what he did when he when he won the belts. So the new. WWF Tag Team Champions are the Dudley Boys. Next match. Oh, oh, here we go. Ladder match for the WWF Intercontinental Championship when champion Chris Benoit puts his title on the line against Chris Jericho. Yes, I thought this was a really great ladder match. Really great ladder match. Honestly, to me, probably probably my favorite match on the card. Yeah, and... and to me, Chris Benoit and Chris Jericho for the Intercontinental Championship, the latter match. I thought this was a really, really great match. You know, and and, and they fought for for the uh, for the last half of two thousand. Yes. Uh, you know, just just end up defeating each other and and, and uh, fighting each other. Um, the uh, uh, when uh, when Chris Jericho gets whipped face first into the ladder. Yes. And he goes outside, and Benoit's gonna and and and, yeah, no, ben, and, and no pun intended yeah. with the suicide yeah. dive. Yeah, Benoit right. fucking whips the ropes, about to do a suicide dive, and Chris Jericho hits him with the chair when he starts diving. Oh man, that that was a brutal. Yeah, it that was. was it was a brutal shit. spot. Yes, it was brutal shit right there. Um, then of course, uh, of course, when Jericho gets Benoit. Uh, into the uh, Walls of Jericho. Yes. On the ladder. Yes, Walls of Jericho on the ladder. Chris Jericho's got him hooked, got Chris Benoit hooked in the Walls of Jericho. Classic spot. Yeah, really great spot. Uh, eventually, Benoit ends up missing the diving headbutt. Uh, and uh, it was pretty brutal. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, of course, it ends when Benoit is... Uh, on the ladder, and uh, Jericho ends up whipping against the ropes and pushing the ladder over. Benoit hits the ropes and tumbles right out of yep, the ring. tumbles right out of the ring, and Chris Jericho climbs the uh, ladder, grabs the Intercontinental Championship. Benoit couldn't get back in the ring, so uh, your new Intercontinental Champion is uh, Y2J Chris Jericho. Next match we have... Uh, and two title changes so uh, far. Yeah, two title changes so far. Uh, can we make it three? Let's see. Not. Let's see. WWF Women's Championship on the line when the champion uh, Ivory. Yeah, with White Sox Stephen Richards. <laughs> with White Sox himself, Stephen Richards of the right to censor. Yes. Takes on China. Now, um, you know, we, you know our thoughts on China. Um, uh, she comes out to a big fanfare though. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, and she comes know, out with a big bazooka. Yeah, yeah, with a big fucking bazooka. Um. And uh, pretty much she did dominate this match. Yes, she did. Uh, she destroyed uh, Ivory and all through this fucking match. But, and I'll be honest, I thought this match sucked. Uh, yeah, I didn't care too much for it at all. Uh, I didn't see anything there. No, nah, I, um, I, I thought this match for the Women's Championship, Ivory versus China, I thought this match was shitty. But but you remember how, how it came about is because Val oh, yeah. Venus ends up doing the pile driver. Oh, yeah, they fucking injured China's neck and everything. Yeah, uh, she, uh, she ends up getting her uh, some uh, some vertebrae uh, actually. Uh, remember what broken. she said? She goes, "Yeah, the doctors told me that I should quit wrestling." I was like, "That's probably the greatest thing that should have happened." <laughs> yeah, probably so. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you remember Ivory 
<laughs> oh, Make I love the spy. You see Val Venus dressed as JR <laughs> yeah. in the WWF attitude, red shirt. And the cowboy and the hat. Cowboy hat. And yeah. that, that actually made me chuckle. It made me chuckle, too, when fucking Ivory was fucking making fun of China's goddamn neck injury. Yeah. Uh, but it ends up with, uh, well, China's going to be doing her patented. Uh, springboard um, elbow elbow into the corner. Well, uh, she goes to do it, and she ends up like like running into uh, yeah. Ivory and uh, jerking her neck. So, uh, so she's not moving. She's not moving. So. And White Sox has got the referee here. <laughs> White Sox Stephen Richards here has got the referee, and fucking Ivory just puts an arm over China. One, two, three, and uh, Ivory is still the uh, WWF Women's Champion. So, uh, and, uh, uh, Jerry Lawler comes out, yeah. Tony Gurria, Bob Sergeant Slaughter. And don't forget the one Billy Gunn, he comes out yeah. too. We'll talk about him later. <laughs> oh, yes, we're going to uh, talk about the one Billy yeah. Gunn. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk uh, about the one Billy Gunn later. Uh, and, uh, and you know, he comes out and everything. I mean, I've been doing it wrong. It is a serious yeah. subject, but this yeah. is also the thing, too, is the doctors told you not to get in the ring. But you did it anyway. But you did it anyway. And then, so, uh, so they're carrying her out. What'd you expect? Yeah, so they're carrying China out on the stretcher and everything. Into the ambulance. And yep. We get into the next match, which is for the WWF Championship when the champion Kurt Angle with Trish Stratus. Yes. Takes on Triple H with Stephanie McMahon. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I thought this match was a little slow. Uh, I. I, w I would actually put it more on borderline lackluster, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, they've had way better matches than this. Yeah, they this. have way better matches than this. This match here... I don't know what... Maybe it was the involvement of Trish and, and, and Stephanie. You know, and maybe because they both were heels. Yeah, you know. It, yeah, they were both heels, so there was nobody really to cheer for in this yeah. match either. Um, and eventually, well... Eventually, what happens? Trish and Stephanie get into a cat fight. Yeah. And uh, the crowd goes crazy. Yeah, uh... Because, of course, every, everybody wants to see uh, Trisha's tits. Oh, yeah. Which, they were nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Vince comes out uh, and breaks it up. Yeah, uh, I love Vince there, trying to break it up. <laughs> you see Vince, hey, David, hey! <laughs> hey, David, hey! Stay over here! And fucking Vince is fucking caught in between them. They fucking crawl over <laughs> Vince and... He's, eventually, eventually yeah. they just leave. If, if Vince fucking got Trish on his fucking shoulders, here comes Stephanie fucking drags her fucking off fucking Vince's shoulders and Vince takes a big old bump. <laughs> Almost the Iron Mike Sharp bump from the big event. No doubt. Um, and uh, eventually Earl Hebner gets knocked out of the ring. Yeah. And then he gets knocked into the stairs and I'm like... Yeah. Typical, then, res uh, t typical uh, rest spots. Yeah. And then uh, Triple H is trying to get Earl Hebner back in the ring, and then here comes Stone Cold Steve oh, Austin. He hit, he, he hit Kurt Angle with the pedigree. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and he's about to cover him and try yeah. to get him in the ring, but here comes Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, here comes Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, he attacks uh, Triple H, hits him with the WWF title. Triple H is bleeding now, and uh, big stunner by uh, <laughs> the big stunner by Stone Cold Steve Austin on Triple H. A big booyah! And then, uh, and then Kurt Angle gingerly uh, puts the arm over. Triple H, Earl Hebner, the slowest count I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was. Very and slow count. One, two, three. <laughs> and uh, Kurt Angle retains the uh, WWE Championship over uh, Triple H. I'm going to be honest, I thought this match was pretty lackluster. It, it, I don't know why, it just didn't mesh well to me. Yes, it didn't. Uh, it, it was pretty lackluster. Well, uh, we do need to mention a few uh, a few segments here. Yeah. Uh, that happen. Well, Vince ends up going to <laughs> Lowdown's locker room yeah. to talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. He says, "You guys have been replaced. <laughs> replaced. Replaced with who?" And, and like, and fucking, uh, and fucking Vince goes, "Drew Carey." Mm -hmm. And fucking, and fucking Tiger Ali Singh goes, "Who's Drew Curry?" <laughs> yeah. Who's Drew? C Curry. <laughs> Who's Drew Curry? <laughs> Who is Drew Curry? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Tiger Alley saying. Uh, That's what Tiger Alley saying. He goes, Who's Drew Curry? Now, during this entire pay per view. Yeah. They're trying to build up this Drew Carey fucking improv pay per view he's supposed yeah. to have. And, you know, I, I, I guess that was the whole reason he was here. Yeah. And Ben says, "Well, you want to you, you want to do the ultimate um, uh, advertisement. Uh, advertisement. You're going to be in the Royal Rumble. 
Yeah. And uh, eventually, downtown Bruno, uh, Harvey Whipple. Yeah, he gives him his fucking uh, <laughs> Adidas, Zubas, and Adidas, or fucking Reeboks, whatever the fuck they want to give you. <laughs> he gives him some. Like, some, here's your fucking gear. Here's you some Adidas gear. You're going to wear this. And he goes, I'm a wrestler now. It's <laughs> like, like Kane's walking by, and he goes, I'm a wrestler now. I'm one of you. And Kane goes, What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Four Eyes? You ain't us. What the fuck you talking about? Go back to fucking Cleveland, bitch. Yeah, go back to fucking... Go back, go back to the home of the Indians and the Browns, bitch. <laughs> Cleveland rocks, huh? Yeah, Cleveland sucks. Cleveland sucks. <laughs> but anyway, we're, here we are. What we got to, guys? The Royal Rumble match. Yes. Oh, man. I oh, love it. Yes. And before we get started... <laughs> Before we get started here at the Royal Rumble match here. <laughs> you want to go ahead and do, do some of these extra Yeah, let's go here. ahead here real quick. Before we get to the actual Rumble match here, we're going to go through some extras. Of course, you have uh, you have the history of the Royal Rumble on here. You have some of the histories for uh, for a lot of the matches yeah. that were built into, the, built into this. Um, and, of course, you have your Sunday Night Heat match with Lowdown and Kai and Tai. And then... You have an a, a lackluster interview with <laughs> with um, uh, the right to censor. Yep, it was pretty lackluster. Yes, it was, especially when they gave the mic to uh, Bull Buchanan. Yep, uh, the Edge and Christian interview, which was great, which was great. Uh, <laughs> Mister Man has a little interview as well. Yep, and Kurt Angle has his interview with with uh, Trish. And, of course, they have Drew Carey at the World Rumble. Yeah. Now, the one thing that we want to talk about is the fan predictions. Yeah, the fan predictions. This is what I wanted to say. <laughs> the yes. fan predictions. They asked the fans of the here, in New, here in New Orleans yes. on who the fuck they should think should win the Royal Rumble match. Some of these motherfuckers made me laugh. Some <laughs> of them chose, some, some them. chose good picks, like fucking The Undertaker or... Or Stone Cold Steve Austin, or The Rock, or or anyone like that. I had no problem with that. But there was two in particular. There was two in particular that fucking made me fucking raise my eyebrow. <laughs> well, well, one made me laugh straight out loud. Well, no, well, actually, two made me laugh. <laughs> actually, it wasn't just one; it was two. This, there's one guy. <laughs> well, the girl uh, first. This girl first. Yeah, this the girl. girl first. Let's go. Let's go with this fucking teeny bopper whore over here. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with her. She goes. My pick is Rikishi, <laughs> right? And, uh, and, uh, because he's last. Because <laughs> fucking bitch, do you know that being number thirty ain't gonna get you nowhere? Ask fucking all the people that draw number thirty. Ask X, X Pac in in two thousand. He, he didn't win. Ask all the the only one that's run Royal, the only two people I know of one Royal Rumble in number thirty. Was fucking The Undertaker and John Cena. And Rikishi and The Undertaker. And no, it, it made me laugh when that fucking bitch said, I think the Rikishi's going to win the Royal Rumble because he's last. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Then, I'm a bad man. Then, I'm a bad man. And then, we got, and then we got fucking this goddamn four-eyed fucking Jim Cornette looking motherfucker. <laughs> he looks worse than Jim Cornette. Yeah, he does. You and, got, what, and what does he say, Tommy? This motherfucker. Who, who's his oh, prediction? Who's his pick? Oh, man. He goes... My pick is Billy Gunn because he's the one. <laughs> That's what the motherfucker said. This fucking, this fucking four-eyed motherfucking Cyclops said that fucking his pick is fucking Billy Gunn because he's the one. <laughs> because he's the one. Because he's a big Billy Gunn mark. Because <laughs> he chose Billy Gunn because he, he said because he's the one. <laughs> Bullshit on that. What do you watch? Metal and Jack? Is that why you went really good? <laughs> All right, here we are. We're the moment everybody's been waiting for. The War Rumble. So that just made my. <laughs> that just made. That laughed my ass off. Uh, we start off with Jeff Hardy and Bull Buchanan. Yeah. Eventually, you know that's how that goes. Um, and Drew Carey comes out. Yeah, he comes out. Did you see it on there? His tight dress that live tonight, Drew Carey. Yeah, live tonight, Drew And Drew he Carey. comes out to some fucking theme. Do, 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 do. Comes out to a fucking dark match theme or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Uh, Drew Carey is out there. The Hardys eliminate each other. Yeah. And so he's just standing there. And he's like, hey, hey, I won, yay. What the fuck you talking about, Drew? There's 50 million motherfuckers still in there. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck you talking about with your fucking four-eyed fucking foggy gorilla monsoon glasses? And who comes out? Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> and Candace walks around. And fucking Candace in. walking around, and you see fucking Drew carrying his fucking Reeboks. <laughs> fucking just looking. He's like, what the fuck is this? And he comes in the ring. Drew Carey offers... He offers him some money. Yeah. And Kane just throws the fucking money, goes for the choke slam, grabs fucking Mr. Price is right himself, <laughs> fucking poor man's replacement to Bob Barker. And, uh... And then here comes Raven. Raven. Saying, Why the fuck you want to save this four-eyed bastard? Fuck him. And Drew Carey says, fuck it, and he eliminated yeah, himself. Yeah, he eliminated himself. And then he fucking shaking fans, fucking clapping their fucking hands. He's like, go back to Cleveland, bitch. Now, this is the thing. It was, you know, it was what it was. It was a stunt show for, for Drew It Perry. was a comedy act. And, now, and, and it build up for his fucking shitty comedy fucking pay-per-view he's doing. But he's not worthy of a Hall yeah. of Fame induction. This is the reason why we don't like Drew Carey. That right there does not qualify you to be a fucking Hall of Famer. Yeah, they don't qualify <laughs> you to be a Hall of Famer. God damn, I, 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 I'm giving it the... Which eventually he did become one. Um, Mr. Baseball, Bob Euchre. Yeah. <laughs> he, he classified as one. Yeah, but he showed up every WrestleMania all the time. There you go. Uh, next, next we end up seeing the Honky Tonk Man come out. A surprise entry, <laughs> baby. Surprise uh, Honky entry. Tonk Man comes out. <laughs> fucking Kane. And starts singing. Fucking Honky Tonk Man singing his song, and then Kane just fucking grabs the guitar and hits him <laughs> with it. He just throws him out, and you see Honky Tonk Man's feet go up in the air. <laughs> I love it. It was funny. Um... Big Show ends up returning. Oh, surprise return because Big Show just came from OVW. Yeah, if you guys do not know, he left He left because WWF wanted to lose weight and everything, so he was sent to OVW. Yeah, and he finally made a return back here at the Royal Rumble and made a pretty good splash here. He eliminated people. Yeah. Until uh, The Rock eliminated him. Yeah. He chokes him about 50 million, He, he chokes him to everybody except for The Rock. Yeah, The Rock eliminates Big Show, and Big Show's pissed off, so he grabs The Rock fucking... Choke slams him through the announce table. That's right. Um, let's see what else here. We get uh, Stone Cold comes out. Yeah. Uh, gets attacked by Triple H. Yes, because uh, he was pissed off because uh, Triple because uh, Stone Cold cost him the uh, WWF Championship. So. But if you guys remember on Raw previous uh, a couple weeks before the the Royal Rumble, uh, Triple H cost Austin the WWF title. So. And uh, Austin gets bloodied uh, as well in this process. Uh, by getting hit into the barricade. And, of course, we get the odds-on favorite. Everybody wants Rikishi. Oh, yeah. Here comes number 30, <laughs> Rikishi. And then you got a return. And then you got a surprise in Haku. Haku did come back as well. And he just left WCW. left that sick of shit before it, it started sinking. And he left in 2001, so he made a perfect time to powder there. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, we get the final four. We get Billy. Oh, oh, we, oh we, got, we got the fucking four-eyed motherfucker's greatest pick, Billy Gunn, because he's the one. Because he is the one. We get The Rock. Stone Cold and Kane. Billy Gunn is in the fucking final four. Billy fucking dead ass Gunn. But he's the first one to be eliminated. Oh, of course he was. That's no. He, shot. he gets thrown out by Austin. Oh, of course. Then The Rock ends up getting eliminated by Kane when yes. he gets dumped over. And speaking of that, Kane to me was on a roll here in this he, whole Royal Rumble. He was the MVP of this Royal yes, Rumble. Yes, he was. No he doubt. eliminated like he was on a roll. He was in there for about fifty minutes. Yes. So, so main event, we have Stone Cold versus Kane. Yeah, those are the only two left, and and Austin fucking hits uh, Kane with multiple chair shots. Two of them. Big two chair shots. Austin whips. Big clothesline. Up and over goes Kane out of the ring, and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin Wins the is Rumble. the winner of the 2001 Royal Rumble match. That's his third Royal Rumble yeah, win. Yeah, the only person to win it three times. There you go. So and then we get the Royal Rumble wrap up with John the Coachman and that's the it yeah. and that's the end of the Royal Rumble two thousand one. Uh, besides besides the women's match and the WWF Championship match for some reason, all the rest were pretty good. The rest of it was pretty good. If you guys enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com dot slash Wrestling Rampage two. Follow us on Twitter. At Russell Rampage, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because the next one we're doing is WWF No Way Out. Yes. So subscribe uh, to Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, you want to take it away? If you don't subscribe right here to our YouTube channel, Wrestling Rampage, then I guess your punk ass just don't know wrestling, baby.